Okay, so to run your installation on DSTV Explorer decoder and then 2 HD decoder in extra view installation. So this is the Explorer decoder. So you select your satellite after the language page, you move ahead. After selecting your preferred language, you move ahead to the satellite page. So here on the satellite page, we have some country list over here. If you are living in Botswana, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Swaziland, Zambia and Zimbabwe, you need to select this satellite, IS20, and then you move on with the step that we'll be using. But if you cannot find your country name in this list, for the rest of Africa, if you are living in Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, and the rest of Africa, if you cannot find your name, country name over here, you need to change the satellite over here from IS20 to E36B. So E36B for the rest of Africa. And then you press OK to move on. So when you come here, you move down to manual setup. Okay, and then you press OK. So here, with the LMB type, you have to be the unique cable TM slash SAT CR. You don't have to change it. And the user band frequencies and user uh, user band index have to be the same because it's default. And because it's the primary decoder, you need to leave it as it is to be the default. Okay, so after that, you highlight the scan to make sure that your signal status over here have filled up. So after signal status indication filling up for you to know that you are having enough signal, you need to go back. Press OK on it. You press on the back button over there and then you come to quick setup and then here you select decoder one because the spread decoder will be your primary decoder so you select decoder one and then you press ok to scan all right so on your secondary decoder which is the hd decoder after selecting your preferred language, English, you move on to the satellite page. It will be the same thing if you are living in these listed countries. Botswana, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Swaziland, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Then you select the IS20 and then you move on. If you can't find your country name, you change the satellite to e 36 b And then... Let's okay. You come here. Come down to manual setup. Okay. So here on the LMB page, you need to change the LMB type to unit cable TF slash SAT CR because you are using a smart LMB. Okay. And a smart LMB is a unit cable LMB. So. You need to change it to unique TM slash SAT CR. So here you have to change the user band frequency over here. The user band frequency one over here, you have to change it to 2040 for the first one. 2040. And then the second one have to be 1006. One zero zero six six, and then here the user band index first one have to be three, and then the second one have to be four. Okay, so as you can see, the signal status are fill up over here. So if you are using an explorer to be your primary decoder. The second HD decoder, this is how you need to set it if you are using a smart LMB. So these are the figures you need to key in on your secondary decoder. 
which is the AD decoder if you are using a smart LMB and a SRA decoder to be your primary decoder. Okay, so you key in this figures over here and then you have to make sure that your signal status at the right side of the page have filled up. Okay, so here you go back to the last page, to the previous page and then you move up to quick setup. So quick setup and then you select decoder 2. And then you go ahead to scan. Alright. Okay, so on your third decoder, your third HD decoder, you select your satellites. If you are living in those listed countries, you select IS20. For the rest of Africa, you change it to ETSB. You come here, manual setup. Okay. So with the LMB type, have to be the unique cable TM. So I start see out because you are using a smart LMB. So you come here, the user band frequency one. You have to change it to be your third decoder. So here it will be one zero one zero five seven five seven and then the user band frequency two over there have to be one 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 zero eight zero eight okay and then the index the user band index first one have to be five and then the second one have to be six okay so after that you have to your signal status at the right side of your page have to fill up okay so here you go back to the previous page quick setup and then you come down to select the coda three that's the third decoder so after scanning you need to call dstv office and then you provide them with the the details of the two decoders the details of the two hd decoders and the dstv spread decoder the iuc number and the serial number for them to link the decoders for you so after connecting them linking them in the installation you are not done you have to call them for them to do the activation over there for you all right so if you are new here you do watch subscribe and then hit the bell icon all right bless up